Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here with Marguerite Miller challenge and then we're going to play a little bit with some uh, slow stitch pieces that I, I wanted to put together. So this is week 32. Let's say our hi and hugs first to Kathy, Kelly, Dear Heart Studio, Heather. Let's just say hi and hugs to them. Dear Heart Studio is my pal Renee. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your kind comments. And I don't say thank you for your kind comments lightly because I really, really do appreciate them, especially because we need them to counteract some of the other ones. <laughs> Let's just say, oh goodness. You know, words are powerful things. We do well to use them wisely. Okay, so I appreciate all of you kind, positive people out there. Let's do week 32. Okay, so something sticky. Um, I, You know, I got this sticker book on Amazon, and I thought I might go ahead and um, use a sticker for something sticky. Something drawn or written in pencil. Well, I went back to my art journals and I have this little lady that is a pe little pencil sketch. And so I'm going to put her on there. Um, a door or window. I've got some little pieces of architecture out of magazines. So, so this is funny. Um, oh, a gum wrapper. I just have a little extra gum wrapper. Um, a person is the bonus and then something that starts with J. Well, funny enough, I, I grabbed this picture of my daughter, which I've put a little sticky over her face because I don't have her permission to be, you know, putting it all over the internet. <laughs> but her name is Joni and we called her J all the time when we're kind of a family that likes nicknames. And so, um, she was J and uh so but she's a person she's a person she's a j and look at the windows back here <laughs> so she that picture would have fulfilled three of the six uh, uh prompts so but we're gonna we're gonna use more than that so i don't know what i'm doing as usual um you know i've got i've got a scrap here would that work now nah. Um, what do I want to use? What do I want to use? Let me just look. Maybe some of this, this scrap. Um, I'm just thinking for kind of filling in the background. Now, I was thinking of her picture over here. I think I'm going to cut down the side of it a little bit so it fits a little bit better. So, yeah, I was going to show you after we get done with this. You know, usually this takes about 20 minutes or so, and I was going to show you what I did over the weekend. I always do this video, the first one back, because it's kind of a good way to get my motor started. Um, okay, what do I want to do with you, girl? She She about fits, so... See, I need my other cutter. Um, actually, I think I kind of like this part right here, which is the um, binding of the journal that I had this in. So I might just do this. And, oh, let's just do this this way. And hope I don't mess it up. Okay. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this torn off too. Just while I'm at it. Now I'm thinking about the architecture and I think there's one here that reminds me. Ah, this is not going to work very well. Only because of operator error. 
Okay. Yeah, so that kind of kind of fits there. And then I, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to need my... Okay, I don't mind that over a little bit. This is fine here. Okay, so this piece... I really kind of wanted the blue part. Well, let's just tear it off. Anyway, so today, even though this is going to show on Wednesday, is today is Monday. And I had a very relaxing weekend. I got, I did a few projects um, where I could just do it in front of the TV and I watched the Olympics all weekend. I haven't gotten to do that because I, I can't watch them at night. My husband doesn't love to watch them. So I said to him, he doesn't normally have the TV on during the day. And so I said, you know, I would like to watch the Olympics. So I'm going to do it during the day. And then, you know, we can watch our movie at night or whatever. But I think that will work. So, yeah. Oh, except that we need our architecture. See, I was thinking I would use this one because it reminds me of my daughter's style. What if I do that? Yeah, except I need to, hmm. okay, I'm just going to cut that. Sorry, I was listening, I'm hearing footsteps, it's my husband, I do believe. <laughs> He was gone when I came down here and I didn't hear him come home. So I'm like, I think it's my husband. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. So there's that. Okay. This I was going to put over here. I just kind of tuck that under there. Go to about there. We'll get to, we'll get to gluing down here in a second. I just wanted to. And make sure we're covered. Um, tear that right about there. Okay. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Just separate good scraps from bad. All right. Blue book. Okay. Bye, George. I think we've got it. I'm not. I'm not distressing anything. Don't ask me why. I just am not thinking I want to. Better get my card here. Get things squished down. Okay, so then I'm going to put this. Maybe I better get a new one. Okay, so let's do this. It's going to go here. And 
well. We'll glue Joni. So I kind of wanted this picture because this picture has a little story to it. So um, the shirt that she has says, kind people are my kind of people. Well, my friend Corey sent that to me. <laughs> Bless her heart. And she said, I hope it's not too big. <laughs> I said, thank you so much, Corey, for thinking that was going to be too big. Yeah. Um, let's just say I could barely get it over my shoulders. <laughs> Corey underestimated my fluffiness. <laughs> so, so anyways, but it was so sweet of her because she said she thought of me. It says, kind people are my kind of people. <clears throat> and, uh. Uh, she got it at Magnolia at jo Johanna, um, Joanna, Joanna, Chip and Joanna, um, Joanna Gaines store in Texas. And <laughs> so that was really cool too. And uh, anywho, um, I, I said to Corey, it doesn't fit me. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want me to send it back to you or I'm on my way to my daughter's house I, I'm i sure it will fit her and she would love it so she said oh please give it to your daughter so anyway thank you Corey it was so so sweet of you and uh, <laughs> and I wish it would have fit I wish I was that size <laughs> but you know I'm not so I'm I'm content where I am. Oh, goodness. That's so funny. Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know. With this challenge, you win some, you lose some. I don't know about this. But, oh, stickers. We need stickers. That might help. That might help. So, what do we want for stickers and we have our gum wrapper that we have to do something with okay um look at this little topiary maybe i could kind of kind of let me get this over here where you can kind of see um i wonder if there's something like that in there all of a sudden i'm so hot <laughs> air conditioner where are you this is such a fun sticker book. I just love it. I've I've only used a couple stickers out of it because. Oh, oh nope, that's woodland. Not gonna find a topiary in the woodland, I don't think. Ooh, look at that. That's bright. Yeah, somebody asked me, would you do something with these big <clears throat> frame pictures i don't know what to do with them so we'll have to figure out something with those i'm not finding a topiary guys but this this flower is kind of topiary ish i think i'll, I'll keep that page what do i do with my oh it's still in there I was going to use one of the frame pages, but I really don't have room. So we might use some things on that page. Okay. Okay, what to do with this? I might just... I just stick that down there. I'm gonna use it kind of like washi tape. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. Yeah, I guess my 
gum wrapper wasn't all that interesting. <laughs> it's just it's just silver. Although it does kind of pick up on Joni's shirt a little bit. Okay. Okay, we got to hope that the stickers pull this one out of oblivion. <laughs> it's just... Okay, so let's get our stickers and see. Okay, I think I'm going to put... I'm going to put this one right here. Okay. Um, she's so pretty. I would love to show you her face, but I guess not. Um, okay. Don't know that I want more of this one. There. Sorry, I just need to look through again and just see something that says, yes, that's it. Kind of looking at this fern. Yeah, I'm going to put that there. And then here's some butterflies, but I want some bigger butterflies if there are. I mean, I could use out of my butterfly book, but okay, I'm going to use this one. And then these little ones are similar butterflies. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. Something there. Do I need a little washi? What do I need here? Need some blue. Let's see here. I've got some blue washi. Maybe some washi will bring it together. <sighs> mm. I think I'll use this. Let me put a few pieces of this. I don't know. My glue's about gone. Oops. Something lumpy under there. Okay. I think this might be what I'm feeling like I needed. A little right down there too here okay liking that better let's let's do a long piece down that side my glue sticks about to be done here Oops. Yep, needed that. So 
them right there. Put some right here. And then a little bit right there, maybe. Okay, that feels better. Let's call that done, shall we? So that would be week 32, something sticky, the stickers, something drawn in pencil, a window or door, something that starts with J, <laughs> chewing gum wrapper, and a person. Okay. Whew. I don't know. That one was tough. Okay. Oh, it only took us 20 minutes, though. That's great. Oh, whoops. I didn't put this back. All right, so now we're gonna do we're gonna do some slow stitch preparation. Let's see, these can go back in the spot. We'll put you where? Over here. I'll do show and tell first. Let's see, I've got some. All right. So these I did over on Patreon. Um, really fun. They're like over the page pockets. So this one goes like this over this page, like that. Um, I saw these on scrapbooking with ME, and um, I thought they were fun, so I did my little take on them. And then on this side, you've got space to write. So, and then on the other side of the page, you've got this guy and this. So, yeah, so that was a fun little project. Um, I try and do one video a week over on Patreon and um, I'm trying to make it something that I haven't done on YouTube. So, um, so that was that one. Oops. That's what I was catching on was my little tabby. Okay. So that's that one. Then I did this one as well. Did it with the pockets on the other side. So, um, put a collage journal card in this side. And this time I just used, um, coffee dyed envelope so I didn't have to collage the whole thing. I just um, I just did just a little to cover up any writing or anything. So that was a project I did. That was about it with paper though. And then um, I did a little slow stitching while I was watching the Olympics. So I did this. This is going to be just kind of a decorative piece to go on a cover for a bee journal. And then I finished this finally. This one is um, a belly band. And I just had a little bit more to do. I had a few more French knots. And then I put this red up the pink there because needed a little something right there. So basically, that's what I want to do is prepare some projects like this so that I can slow stitch them this weekend when we go to take care of our granddaughters. So I have stuff in here. This one is a work in progress. So see the, the fabric's just pinned on. Um, I have sewn this on and I did go around this with some leftover thread when I was doing this one. So this one's still good to be a project. So let's just see. I don't even know what I've got in my bag here. So let's just Let's just look. Um, I threw a bunch of stuff in here. Because uh, I didn't know if I would have time to do this ahead. Okay. 
So we have this. Let's see what there is here to play with. I love the yo-yos. That's very fun. Um, and where is my... Let's see. Is this the right size? Yes. So I have another belly band here. Um, 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 um. And I grabbed some other that we can use if we need it. Okay. I also have some um, stamped fabric that could, could be kind of fun. I don't know. They're art stamps, kind of. And so, I don't know. Oh, you know what I want to do first? Let's do this. Let's grab this little, this little fairy. Because my next project is the fairy journal for the winner of my giveaway. So what, what colors do we want to use? I don't know. Oh, I love this. Love that. Old 50s tablecloth. I'm going to set that aside because this is pretty. Pretty and colorful. I like that. I'm going to just tear this in half, I think. I wish all the flowers weren't on the side of this. But I could put that down the side, couldn't I? Yeah, I think I'm going to cut it right about here. I'm just going to cut it rather than tear it because... It's, I'm not sure it's fabric that will tear, you know what I mean? Okay, fun scrap. So all I do is just play. It's kind of like collage, really, with fabric. And kind of think about, well, for sure what goes with what, but then also, oh, isn't this pretty? Um... You know, what would be fun to do a certain stitch on. So, yeah, I'm doing a little bit of stitching. Not a whole ton because my hands, my wrists, my thumb <laughs> won't let me. But I'm trying, I'm doing a little bit. And, and the thing is, is I can't just do it for hours on end like I want to. But... And thank you to those who have asked about about my hand. Um, right now it's doing better because I've been on steroids for the mystery rash that has happened. Um, but I'm done with those now, so it's going to start bugging me again. Um, let's see. Let's go this way. Anyway... Um, and you all have been so nice asking about my rash, too. I'm still doctoring for both is the answer. <laughs> um, because they don't know. They don't know. But I finished the second round of steroids and the rash is back. So it's not getting any better. They got to figure out what's causing it, I think, instead of trying to treat it. So we'll see. I don't know. I just love these old flower prints. So I'm going to go like that. Then I'm thinking maybe two things down this way, maybe. I don't know. Let's just look through and see. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That's like it's bark cloth. Oh, I love it. This is pretty. Oh, I think I'm going to do that. Oh, 
I should have done this. I didn't see that it was folded, but oh well. It's okay. Just love these colors so much. Lots of strings in this process. I was going to do two things, but I think I might just do that. Okay, and then if I do this, maybe if I have something sort of more or less framing this. This is really poofy. Could I, could I peel it off? I could. Don't love it. I'm gonna put it back together. <laughs> Oh, what if, I still want to frame that, but what if we put like a yo-yo on there too? Hmm, don't know, that yo-yo's a little bit big. Have some other yo-yos. Ooh, what about maybe some lace? Like this little pink lace. Ah, I think I need to pin those down and then I'll mess around with the top of it. Okay, where'd, what'd I do with my pins? I'll put them right there. So, I, I don't know if this is super exciting for you guys, but it's something that I wanted to get done and I just haven't had time to do it. So, you know, to be honest, most of my creative time is on camera because of, you know, filming or trying to have a video for every day. So, um, I don't have a lot of time that I craft that I'm not on camera a little bit and you know and then doing a patreon video once a week too that's I'm on camera a lot I guess is what I'm saying <laughs> so that just means I have a project I need to need to do it with you all for the most part I've kind of started a purple journal I've kind of started working on that and um, I'm doing that kind of off camera just if I have a moment okay okay so we might have to adjust those a little bit but was thinking of putting her like that up there okay I like that um, we'll cut you right about here Ooh, make sure you're not cutting something underneath of it Gail that would be just like me to do okay really like that um I'm thinking, talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I have these that are super cute. Shoot, I don't have the, don't have the maker on here. So please in the comments if if you made these, they were from an Etsy share, I know. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's what's going there. Yeah, please, in the comments, identify yourself if you're the maker of these. So, that and this. There. 
I'm also thinking about some lace on the side, on one side or another. Um, what do we have? This is like tea dyed lace. I kind of like that because um, it brings out that lace. Yeah, why not? Do it, Gail. Just do it. Okay. I'm going to pin that on, and this one will be ready to go. So then I just throw them in my little... Um, my little stitching bag and I just make a, a stack of whatever I have ready and then I can just stitch away. I'll probably do this one first because it's for a journal that I'm working on at the moment. Well, I haven't started yet. We'll start tomorrow. Yes, I like that. That turned out pretty cute. Right? Okay, so there's that. Now, let's grab, let's grab a bit of this. I think I made these like eight and a half, so they just fit, yep, just fit a, a, a page. So let's do another one. Or maybe a couple more if we have time. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I don't know that I want to use this, this stuff for another one. Love that though too, that's really cute. We'll just shove it aside a little bit. Let's see what else is in here. Um, I have a couple of things. These were, these were kits from Etsy. Look at that one, that's, that's got a lot of fun stuff. Let's, let's work with it. Okay, shove that up. See what we've got in this one. Yeah, this was just <clears throat> a little kit. Little kit. This is, that's really pretty. That could kind of be the focal point. This. I like how it's, it's already got slow stitching. <laughs> so there's another piece of white cotton that we could use. Okay. And there's a variety. So pretty. Let's see. This is a good size piece of fabric. Um, I'm just going to randomly, actually not so randomly, I might do it the width of this, just to see what we come up with. These two, I need to get out of my way, the ones that are done. Okay. know what let's let's just make this the base since there was quite a bit of that fabric and we'll use this for something that we just piece together okay yep let's use that for the base 
and see what we do. I bet it's fun to put these kits together. It's probably a bit like, you know, putting putting these together. Just finding things that <clears throat> go well together and that kind of stuff. Oh, two pieces here. So I think I don't know. Just start cutting. <laughs> I was thinking it could be kind of fun not to go to the edges to leave a bit of that on the edge. So I think I might do that. So yeah, just like this, kind of leave a leave an edge. Okay. This one I think I'd like like almost a square of it. Okay, that is totally not straight. So I'm gonna try and rip that so it's straight. So this will make good tag toppers. So I'll put that in my tag topper area. Okay, I'm gonna do the same here to try to straighten it up a bit. Yep. Okay. Now what I want is kind of a bit of a square. So I'm gonna just do that. Okay. Let's see. Here's how I'm going to get my square. Just going to go like this. Give that Give that a cut. <laughs> Not easy to go that way. Let's go this way. Okay. Boom, a square. Put you there. I think. Got this little this little bit of silky. Could go there. That's some nice fabric there. Okay, I'm going to do that again and get a square again. Might be slightly big. Loving that. Try it again. that.
little bit of tatting here. No, no, and no. <laughs> okay, so this in the middle. Okay, I'm just going to try and cut this so that I leave a bit of room for sewing it on. Okay. I feel like this is blending into the background too much. Okay, I like that. And maybe here, Let's see, Okay. This feels like a really vintage piece of lace here. Okay, I'm wondering about tucking it under here. I'm going down. really it's just layers and layers isn't it okay let's pin I have no idea what journal this will go in but I do know when I make these I always find one <laughs> I always find a project where it's just right lace a little bit And this way. I also want to do another, um, I don't know, I kind of want to call it a book plate, but a cover for a journal. A, a full cover is a lot. Like I did that on my letter diaries journal, you might remember, and it took me months. So. <laughs> Um, but to put like almost like a, just a little focal point on a journal cover is more doable. And I think it just looks so pretty. Okay, so there is that one. Move there. Then as I sew, I remove the pins because they get in my road. So, okay. Oh, I like that. That, that turned out nice too. Let's see, what do we have? Just about, about 10 minutes. I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's a good one too. Okay. This I used before, and so I don't know. But it would be great for a shabby chic, wouldn't it? Oh, do I want any buttons on this? I just noticed the buttons. I don't 
think it enhances it, so I'm going to say no. Okay, I'm going to put this thread with this so that I know that's where it came from. And then we'll just put all this back in the bag because it all just goes together so nicely. Um, okay, so for one of those um, book plate things, I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use this. Um, what I think is I want to go about no more than five, maybe even, maybe even a little bit less. I'm going to try and go about four and three quarters this way. And then, um, let's see, it'll be nine inches, the journal, probably. So, probably five, I'm going to go five by seven on this. Like so. And then, let's just, we'll get started on this one. We probably won't finish it, but I'll try and finish it and show it to you tomorrow or something. Um, let me go up a side with this. Okay, do that. Got a lot of strings, a lot of strings happening rid of those. Okay. What else do I have? I've got, look at this. Ooh, that could be pretty stitched. Yeah. I think that is going to be the focal point. Look at here. Look at here what we've got. Okay. And then maybe a bit of this across there. So, go right about here. The satisfying rip of fabric. All right, so let's go. Maybe partially over that away. Okay. Definitely like that so far. Let's see, what do we have? We have these teeny weeny little flower things. I need to have that down lower because this oh look how big that flower is but it's cool okay so let's sort of do they call this kiss cutting when you don't Um, yeah, 
you don't cut it right up to the design. I don't know. I heard somebody use that term. Maybe it was Rachel at Roxy Creations. Okay, that little blue flower could be for another project. I want to leave enough to be able to sew it on, right? Might be helpful to use sewing scissors for this, but... Okay, let's see. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I'm concentrating, I guess. Okay, and then I think I want to go kind of in here a little bit. covers up that. Okay, so what if... Nope. Don't want to waste any of that. So... I like that. Let's see. How am I doing on time? I better... Oh, I'm just about out of time, aren't I? Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to move that down. Got some lace I could maybe put under there. Okay. Well, this is a work in progress. I'm going to work on this some more. And I'll try and show it to you next um, next video. Even though we're starting on a fairy something something, we'll we'll just see if we can get this figured out. So thanks everybody for watching today, and thanks for um, humoring me while I did some slow stitch stuff. So. I sure appreciate it, and I will just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day, everyone. Bye-bye.